What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got some fantastic news for every single one of you out there who's a fan of this Forza Horizon 3 series. They've added in a new car pack, so it adds in seven new vehicles to the game, and I absolutely cannot wait to check these things out with you guys. You all know we do a new episode of this game just about every single day, so over the course of the next week, we're going to be checking out each and every one of these new vehicles that were added in. Now, I figured before we do that... Let's just do an overview. I want to give you guys a look at everything they added in. I know a lot of people are going to be curious as to what the, the list of the cars is and, you know, what they look like and stuff like that. It's available for free if you have the, like, ultimate edition of the game or if you have the car pass, which is kind of like the season pass that you, like, prepaid for the whole season of DLC. If you don't have either one of those, you can get it separately. I think it's, like, six bucks or seven bucks or something like that, and you get all of the cars included with it. So, um, the name of the car pack is called the Logitech G Car Pack, and like I said, it comes with seven new vehicles. So, starting off, we have the 2014 Morgan Three-Wheeler. So, you guys can see, this thing is very, very different. It's very unique. It kind of looks like a sidecar you'd see on the side of a motorcycle, but um, basically, this is a super old-school design that's been modernized. You guys heard me say it's a 2014, so it's an updated, like, it has the amenities and the technology technology of cars today is just in that old school design, which looks kind of cool. Next up, we've got the 1996 HSV GTSR. So this is a street legal racer from Australia. It's going to be kind of cool to check this thing out. And yes, you guys can see I did choose the Domino's delivery car wrap. I thought that was absolutely hilarious when we were purchasing the car. So uh, you guys can check that out in an episode coming up this week. Next up, we have the 1992 Toyota Supra GT Twin Turbo. So uh, obviously a very, very iconic car of the 90s. The Supra is just a legend in its own sake. And this was kind of like the generation before the last generation of the Super that everybody knows from the Fast and Furious movie. So it's going to be fun to check out what kind of set the ground for that last generation of the Supra. Next up, we have the 1965 Pontiac GTO. This thing is just sexy. I mean, if you know anything about old school, just a straight American muscle, man. Like, this is quintessential American muscle. Such a beautiful car coming from the mid-60s. And uh, it's going to be very, very fun to check this thing out. We did a Challenger recently, right, around this time period. So it's going to be kind of fun to see that. Um, next up, we're getting into some of the newer stuff. We have the 2017 Jaguar F-Pace S. So I didn't even know this was a thing until I saw this car pack. Basically, this is a new performance SUV from Jaguar that's inspired by the F-Type. So the F-Type is like their flagship supercar right now. And this is an SUV that's modeled after that, at least aesthetically, and then it's also meant to be pretty powerful uh, in terms of its performance as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, finally, getting into the two most exciting ones I know you guys are going to be very, very hyped about. We have the 2017 Mercedes AMG GT R. So this thing is an absolute monster. I can't wait to check this thing out. Twin turbo 4 liter V8 in this pearlescent green color. This is actually the only color that it comes from the factory with. So this thing, it's just, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be so, so, so good. I can't wait to check it out. And finally, last but not least, we have another green beauty right here. The Bentley EXP10 Speed 6 concept. So uh, this is a concept car that Bentley brought to the Geneva Motor Show back in 2015. I'm not sure if this thing's going to end up going into production or not. As of right now, it's not officially a car, but it is going to be in Forza Horizon 3, which is going to be a lot of fun. It's supposed to be like a, a lighter, sportier version of the Continental GT, which you guys know the Bentley Continental GT. That thing is iconic in its own right. So uh, there you guys have it. Those are the seven new vehicles coming to Forza Horizon 3 with this car pack. Let me know which one we should kick things off with. I've got a feeling it's going to be between that brand new AMG GTR or the new Bentley. Which one do you want? Leave comments down below. Now, uh, another thing I want to mention to you guys in case you don't know, this is just basically micro DLC. We have a huge DLC coming just about a week from now. So on December 13th, the Blizzard DLC, I forget what it's called. I have it over here. Blizzard Mountain. Blizzard Mountain DLC is coming to Forza Horizon 3. It's going to be a standalone DLC, so you don't even have to have the main game to be able to play it. But basically, it's a new location on the map all centered around this giant mountain, high elevations, snow, blizzards, ice, all kinds of stuff. It's going to be the first time we've ever seen snow in a Horizon game, I believe. And um, it's got all kinds of new vehicles, all kinds of new missions and races and stuff like that. It's even got Ken Blocks, Jim Kana, 
Focus RS in there. It's going to be absolutely nuts. I can't wait, and we will definitely be checking that out next week. I just want to give you guys a heads up that that's coming. But um, yeah, there you guys have it. That's the new DLC we have here in Forza Horizon 3. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with our first episode of it. Let me know what you want first, the AMG GTR or the Bentley Continental Concept. Leave comments down below. I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.